Hello, in this second tutorial we will expand our knowledge from the previous one. It is basically the same workflow as in the past hard surface baking tutorial. With the difference, I will introduce V-Ray as a baking engine, use organic form instead of hard surface method and add simplified subtitles below so you can easily follow the steps. Here is our still life scenario in 3ds Max, consisting of uh, 8 objects which I want to texture bake at once in one map and without fiddling around too much and for too long. This is my reference artwork, a rendered image in V-Ray, a crispy photorealistic look I can hardly achieve so fast in real time. Whole scene texture baking is designed as a simple straightforward process. Select all objects in the scene you want to put in one texture. Select from the utilities flat iron and choose organic matters. Almost all objects in the scene are round and smooth and therefore this method is best suited for it. Define the UV channel to store your collected final UVs and the texture. Take at best an unused UV channel, one that is not already applied on the objects. If your source and target channels are the same, in this case I use UV channel 1 for my V-Ray textures and materials on the objects, they will collide and overwrite your main work. For this exercise I will use UV channel 3 because I know it wasn't used in the scene at all. Give the selection a name and press unwrap. This is the UV sheet of all our objects, unwrapped and packed automatically for the best result. We have some 70% space usage, a result which is the best economic solution compared to the other long and tedious manual or semi-automatic methods. The automatic UV unwraps always look somehow abstract, but it doesn't matter at all. We are here not doing beauty UV contest, we are doing a cold and efficient texture baking. Now I need to choose what to bake. I want this full photorealistic look, which means I need everything. I need a complete map. Finally press bake and depending on your scene and render settings, wait for a minute. Or even better, use the time to start in the background Unreal or Unity engine. And here is the final result. All objects are automatically unwrapped, packed and baked in one single texture. This was done with only 3 or 4 clicks and the result is hard to distinguish from the rendered image. There is still one thing that needs to be done. We need to check and prepare it for the export. A short explanation. Flat iron bakes textures by default into a shell material. You can change it to the direct override, but the shell material has been proved to be the best solution for the non-destructive workflow. After the texture baking, you get the following shell material. It consists of the upper material slot with the original V-Ray material and the lower slot filled with our created baked texture. You can even use viewport or render controls to selectively force Max to show one of them in the viewport but render the other or opposite. In our story it is important because it keeps the original V-Ray material as a render material all the time. It means each time we render an image or bake a texture, it will engage the V-Ray material. You can tune the light, materials and so on and press each time bake with the effect that the texture baking will overwrite only the second, the lower slot, leaving the original V-Ray material intact. And at the very end, when you are satisfied with your texture baked result, you just need to get rid of it. Why? Because the shell material doesn't work in real-time engines. You can't export it. Simply select all objects and press clear shells. All shells are gone and only the final standard material with the baked texture remains. The second thing real-time engines don't like are UV maps in UV channels other than the UV channel 1. Maybe it changes in the future, but in this moment, in 2018, UV channels like 6, 8 or 25 won't load in Unity or Unreal. So we need to swap or copy them from our baking UV channel 3 to the UV channel 1. In this simple tutorial scene with only 8 objects, you would need maybe a minute to do it by hand. 
but our customers have architecture or game sceneries with thousands of objects. Therefore, we have created a free tool you can download from the link below just for these mass conversion tasks. It works very simple. Select all objects you want to modify, select UV channels you want to copy and the destination channel and press copy. All UV maps and object material channels were simultaneously synchronized. Our job here is done. Let us export it as OBJ or FBX and move to the real-time engine. In this tutorial I will use Unreal Engine, but I'm sure this simple task run in Unity Engine just the same. Input the object, drag and position it into the scene. Select the material and assign to it our baked texture. And in less than a second you have a perfect still life scenery in the real time, with only one small texture map and in the same quality as if it were just rendered in V-Ray. In the next tutorial we will introduce the projection texture baking, an awesome and unique process of fast and economic diorama scene texture capturing. In the meanwhile visit our homepage www.texturebaking.com or www.3dplugin.com for news and more information. Thanks for watching.